What up, you two? It's your boy Devil's Haze. Here to show you my setup. It's a SRDWC system, which stands for Super Recirculating Deep Water Culture. And uh, I'll show you why I added the S to it and made it a Super Recirculating DWC instead of your, your standard DWC or RDWC systems. Uh, like any DWC system, you need an air pump have one back there and uh, I'm using a 27 gallon tote right there uh, this time I used five inch net pots instead of the threes uh, the threes they didn't serve me too good uh, the plants moved around a lot and sometimes lifted when it got a little bit bigger and uh, these seem like they'll just work way better and then down here, I went ahead and added a drain to it. As you can see, it's just a regular spigot. It has a little rubber gasket in the back. You just drill a hole according to the size of the spigot. And then you push in the rubber gasket. And then the spigot should slide in. This is what it looks like. It's a regular spigot. And uh, you're going to see that I use a lot of these. And now uh, let me open it up just so you can take a look inside and kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to do here. All right. And this is, uh, once again, just like any other DWC. I'm using the Aqua O2 Air Stones. I really, really like these. I mean, not only because of the suction, because the other ones do tend to float a lot. And sometimes they'll catch, they'll be upside down. And... It's just, it doesn't work as well, but uh, because of the ceramic plate or a piece, I mean, uh, the bubbles are very fine. Really small bubbles, which uh, helps a lot. The plant can intake them easier than, than large oxygen bubbles. Now, right here, I have little elbows. I drill little small holes just so I can have easy access, you know. I went ahead and I don't know if you could see it there. There we are. There's the other piece. So you can just attach the hose to it. You can move it around easier. And uh, let's see here. It's a little blurry. Now, this is where the super comes in. This is another spigot I drilled. Let's see. Right here. This is a, another spigot. I went ahead and put a little mesh and uh, tie wrapped it. Just so when it sucks in, this is the intake, it doesn't take any roots with it. You know, just kind of like a safety precaution. Uh, this does have a valve on it. I had to put it in the inside because uh, it, it was just too difficult. It was uh, protruding too much on the other side and it made it really hard to uh, set the hose up like I wanted to. Now, this is the outlet and basically what it is. Here's uh, the recirculating part. It's, uh, it's a pump. It's a water pump, uh, just like any aquarium water pump. Um, they sell these in pet supermarket. They usually have a grill in the front, but you just take them off and then you'll have access to this part, which you can attach a hose to, which I did over here. And that's the side of the spigot. So the water comes in through here, goes into the pump, and shoots out. I put one on each side so it can basically shoot out that way, kind of turn around, and then come back this way into the intake. You know, get some type of circulation going. And um, that basically is gonna move the water around, keep the pH sort of stable, uh, move your nutrients around, you know, mix it up. And uh, the reason I did this was because I was tired of, uh, you know, those dead spots and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes the roots would be laying in an area with no circulation. And it just doesn't get, you know, the beneficial things it needs. And uh, by adding a recirculating pump to it, I'm going to go ahead and move everything around and everything will be really good. And probably have to do less reservoir changes. Now, here comes the super part. Now, this isn't your average pump. This actually has a Venturi attached to it, which is very, very simple. 
This is the little spout of the spigot that goes into it. And this is a hose that I made a little hole in the plastic and I stuck a hose in there and it comes out and at the end of the hose it's just there's nothing on it. You want to keep it vertical. Let's see if I can get it better, I'm sorry. There we go. You want to keep it vertical so uh, it can intake the air. Now what we're doing here is we're creating the Venturi effect where the water that's being pumped through the pump goes uh, through the outlet and mixes with oxygen. And I'll show you right here, I have another piece. What I did, you can make your own Venturi, you can attach it to a hose, but I did it directly on uh, the little piece of plastic they give you. So if you can see here, I'll show you where I drilled. There we go, I drilled a little hole. And then all you do is add a hose to it. Let's see, I think I have one here I can show you. Add one of these holes. Let me slide it in real quick. Put the camera down. There we go. And we just add it in there. Spin it a little bit. See if we can get her in. One second. Alright, and there we go. There you go. See the inside? I mean, sometimes uh, this one is actually cut in a V-shape, and then it has a little V-shape in there. What it is, basically, the Venturi, uh, it gets smaller here, so it causes pressure. With the pressure, it creates a vacuum effect, and then uh, it has to pull from somewhere, and since you have this hose here, it tends to pull whatever's on the other side of the hose, which is oxygen in this case, and then it just mixes the water with oxygen. That's where the super comes comes to play. You know, you're not only recirculating the system, you're oxygenating as you recirculate. So you can pretty much say goodbye to those dead zones where there's no oxygen in your reservoir. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up with water and see what you guys think. All right, so get to edit this part. I'm not sure, this might take a bit. Now what you want to do, you're just going to do a test on it, but you want to always keep the water level over the intake. Because you don't want the pump to dry out. It's not going to work well and, and it could burn. Let's see, let's let it get a little bit higher. That's it, there we go. Now, you can immediately put the pump inside the reservoir, which would probably be easier because uh, it intakes the water better. When you have a hose, it kind of uh, backs it up just a tad bit and uh, it's not as efficient as if you were to have the pump inside. The reason I didn't put it inside, well, it's because I didn't want the roots to get tangled up. Maybe next time I'll do it. I'm not quite sure. This is the first time I, I come up with something like this. And uh, you know, uh, as the days go by, we could just improve this system. Or you guys can go ahead and follow up and you know improve it yourself. Now, um, let's turn on the pump here. This is the air pump. Oops, sorry. This is the air pump right here. And uh, it's powering up the air stones. 
So you can already see there's a lot of bubbles in there. I mean, it's a really good pump. Actually, this one's kind of broken, but I'm using it for an example. You know, so you're already getting a lot of oxygenation. And I'm telling you, 50% uh, of the reason is because of those off wall two stones. They're just really that good. You can see it here. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and add the Venturi to it. See if we can get a good shot. Sorry, the lighting here is pretty bad. Alright, you can't really see it, but what we're going to do is turn off the air stones. Make sure that the valve is open. Make sure that the water does go through. As you can see, I put a lot of aquarium sealant just to make sure it doesn't drip. You know, that little piece right there, it comes with uh, the, the pump. You just screw it on. You have different options and variations to use. I used that one because it seemed like more water would get through. Now, let's go ahead and turn this off. There we go. Now you can see the Venturi at play. See if we get a good shot in here. You kind of see the micro bubbles? There we go. It's just shooting out. Oxygenates the water really well. I mean, it works fantastic when the pump's inside. It works really well. But so you can get an idea of it. There we go. That's what it looks like. Now the water is being mixed in with oxygen. Now this is the this is the holes right here. So if you see if I just put my finger over it, the air bubble stop. And if I let it go again, the air bubble start up again. Now that's the super part. Now I'll show you how it works. Try to put some uh, type of floaty thing here, just drop it on there to see kind of where it goes. See it pushes in there, uh, it pushes it out, does a little turn, and comes right back this way. So it's recirculating pretty well. You can see it. You know, if you move it around, sometimes you'll get a perfect angle, which will go ahead and just do perfect circles. And that's where you want it. You want to fine tune it a little bit. Uh, right now, I'm just kind of checking for leaks, stuff like that. So I'm running this little test. It seems like it's leaking a little bit, but not too much. And uh, let me show you one more thing. Just very convenient. When you add nutrients to your system, let's just stay, let's add a little water to this cup. Let's just say this was uh, filled with nukes. You know, you're about to feed your plant, you do a small little mixture. And uh, you don't really want to dump it in there. You really don't want to add it. You kind of want it diluted. You don't want a big wave of pure nutrients to pass by your roots before, uh, before mixing in well to the water. So what you can do, especially when you're adjusting pH, just add a little pH down and get the right pH. You grab your little uh, air intake. Let's see if I can focus a little bit. And you just put it in there. And what does it do? It just sucks the, the water right in. Starts to drain it. And as it's sucking it, it's adding it into the res. See, if I would have put some dye in there, you'll see a cloud of smoke. Which maybe I should have done it for the example. I just kind of didn't want to get it dirty since I cleaned it up real nice. But as you can see, let's see here. Good angle. It's just sucking up all the water. 
And the best part is, is that it does it slowly and also recirculates. You know, so like that, it mixes in very well. It's basically, you know, mixes the the concentrated version and dilutes it as it comes out. And and then you get a real good idea of what your PPMs are and stuff like that and your pH along the way. And that's basically the setup. Uh, any questions, just hit me up, some comments, maybe some advice, something like that. I know a lot of people are running RDWCs now. And let me tell you, you can do this with any system. Uh, that's, that's deep water culture, uh, recirculating. All you have to do is just add the Venturi. Poke a hole, make your own. What you want is, uh, let's see here. I have one around here. I guess I don't. You just want an attachment to the holes that kind of decreases a little bit in size throughout the middle just to cause a little bit of pressure and then opens back up again. You know, you, you can see uh, like the jacuzzis, they'll have venturis in there, which I'm pretty sure those would work really well. And then uh, with the pressure right where the, the thinnest part would be, that's where you'll drill a hole and add a hose or something to it. There's a lot of videos on venturi. I suggest you check them out. So then you can get yourself a little SRDWC system like me. I haven't seen nobody really post anything up about this. Hopefully I'm the first. Uh, shout out to you YouTubers that like the DWC. I know there's a lot of them. And uh, I want you guys to check this out. So maybe you guys could, you know, step up your game a little bit and uh, add something extra. Because that's what we're here to do. We're here just to innovate and, you know... Pep up that step, you know, get that game going. We like new things, you know, and DWC, you know, it's a hassle sometimes, but, you know, it's just a fun hobby. This is what we like to do. And uh, that's it. I'm out. Any questions, just holler at me. I'm, I'm here all the time. Peace.